Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Welcome back to another attempt at uh, Muakbang, Mubahang. I don't know. I really do need to watch one of these videos that you guys keep telling me about um, just to see how they pronounce it and probably watch a Korean do it because, as far as I understand, Mukbang or Muakbang or whatever it is is a, a Korean thing that they do. Anyhow, for today's meal, we are going to have uh, some white rice with four eggs. Um, uh, basically what sunny side up that I cooked out here at the park and some um, frozen vegetables stir-fried vegetables and to help enhance the flavor we are going to be biting off chunks of um, serrano pepper so this is what we got going on and that looks so good right here you want to learn how I made this you want to watch the video where I cook this dish up I'll be running that right before this one so hopefully you're regular and have seen it cooked, the process. So now we're gonna go ahead and enjoy this meal. I'm gonna wash everything down with this. I know it looks like the geyser, crystal geyser natural alpine spring water, which is actually um, from Dollar Tree. And according to this, they bottle it from the spring and the spring is located in, I don't know if it's Kentucky or Tennessee. I forget here, yeah, I can't seem to find it, but earlier I saw it said that um, it was in Tennessee, I think, or Kentucky, somewhere up there. But anyhow, we are going to be having that. Now, this water that's in here actually isn't the Crystal Geyser water. <laughs> Before I left work, I filled it with um, the fountain water. You know how they have the, the soda dispenser, you can get water. I am making an effort to try to cut down on soda because I've been going crazy on soda. And of course, I did have soda at work because I tend to need the sugar while I'm working. But um, for drinking and eating and food and stuff, I am no longer buying soda, except for like maybe when the kids are here, once in a blue moon. But I do have soda at work, uh, still trying to wean myself off that and get completely on to just um, using water all the time. Anyhow, without further ado, we need to get started because it's gonna get dark here and they are going to be locking this place up. So I only have a few minutes to try to get this eaten and clean up and get out of here. <laughs> so let's begin with our first bite. We're gonna take some of this um, egg. By the way, I did, and I don't show it on here, but I showed it on the other video. I did flavor the eggs with this Lucky brand fish sauce, which is, um, so it's kind of like a salt. You know, it's, it's um, what Asians, or at least what Thais use for seasoning. And it basically tastes like salt. If you didn't have Lucky Brand fish sauce, you could probably just use salt in its place. It would be very similar, but not exactly the same. And the vegetables, the stir-fried vegetables, they were, um, I didn't really flavor them much other than just use uh, badia seasoning. Basically just sprinkled it with brat badia as, as it was cooking up. So, let's go ahead and take a bite. Mmm. The egg was just perfect. A lot of times when I cook egg, you know, I like it sunny side up, but I like it kind of runny. But today, I decided to go ahead and make it fully cooked so it's kind of burnt edges. And that was done on purpose. I um, did that because I didn't feel like having runny eggs. And what's cool is like, the rice itself, the white rice, some of you may never have had white rice. but. I cook white rice and I don't add any um, salt or any other seasoning to it because I want it to stay neutral. Um, Asians typically eat white rice without any um, flavoring because the rice itself absorbs like the flavors, you know, like Thai food especially is either super hot, you know, spicy, super sweet or sour and um, it would be too much. So the rice, you can see how much rice I use. It's not a side dish. The rice is the dish, the main dish. Everything else is a side. Mmm, and it's so good. And to give it a little bit of zing, some um, serrano pepper. Mmm. If I had my choice, 
I'd rather have like Thai chili pepper, which I think I do. I don't know where I put it. And serrano pepper, because the serrano pepper isn't very spicy at all. It's hot, but I can barely taste it. It's kind of sweet, honestly. Thai chili pepper, though, is pretty hot. And I did buy some the other day. I just got to figure out where I put it. So, we're going to have some egg, which is kind of interesting with the um, salty flavoring of the fish sauce, and the carrots, which will make it sweet. So good. And for a little kick, fried on pepper. Okay, pepper's starting to kick in. I guess maybe the tip wasn't that spicy, but the center is. You'll be able to tell when the spice kicks in if I start sweating. <laughs> they will also tell you how good the food is or isn't. Here we have. Um, this is um, broccoli, right? Yeah, broccoli. So we have some broccoli and carrots and rice. For those of you who are like vegetarians or vegans, I guess vegan, I don't know what the difference is between vegan and vegetarian. But if you don't like to eat meat, you can make stir fry and eat it with rice. You know, you can do just like this, just skip the eggs and skip any meat dish and it still tastes good. What's really cool is this meal. It's only like 50 to 75 cents to make. You know, you, um, I mean, if you bought all the ingredients at the same time, it's probably about two, three dollars worth of ingredients. But you could cook all this stuff up for a whole bunch of different meals. It's so good. And that pepper, I can feel the burn kicking in and going through my throat, up my nose. Now the reason I used the eggs today, I used four eggs instead of buying meat, was because I had all those eggs. I don't know if you remember the other day, I bought the eggs for 58 cents per dozen. So I'm trying to eat up eggs. Eggs is a cheap source of protein and highly recommended for, you know, if you're on an extreme budget because you could eat two to four eggs and that would give you, I think, enough protein for the day. like about seven to nine cents um, with the protein I'm eating here. And I think I think this health-wise is a lot healthier than eating like a McDonald's burger or something. Not only that, this tastes this tastes a lot better. I don't know about you guys, but if I eat like a burger, maybe some fries, I tend to get hungry after like maybe about two hours. Whereas this rice, this will carry me through the night. I won't get hungry till tomorrow. This is got just the right mix of um. Spice, sweetness, crunchiness, and chalkiness from the different ingredients. It's making my tongue go a little bit wild. Right now I can, I can feel the burn. I don't know if you can see the sweat starting to form on my forehead and on my face here. That is from the pepper. So the food is kicking up. Mmm, so good.
I don't know if any of you guys ever watch Mark Weems on um, YouTube. He's a vlogger, blogger, and he travels around Thailand to eat food and around the world. But every time he eats peppers, he eats like Thai chili peppers and other hot peppers. He doesn't eat like one or two like me. He'll eat like hundreds of them. The dude is like immune to to hot. <laughs> He's a, one of my favorite uh, vloggers. Like I like watching, or I did when I had internet access all the time, but now, you know, now that I'm in the van, I don't really watch much YouTube at all, so I haven't watched him in, what, it's been about six or seven months now. Mmm. If you haven't tried a simple dish like this, I do recommend it. It's an excellent way to save money. I think you're eating fairly healthy. It's just so good. And you could do a lot of different substitutions. So I did. I better wash that that heat. You can see me sweating now. That pepper is kicking in. But you could substitute like for the instead of the eggs, you could have um, a meat. Like a lot of times, I'll have pork here on the side, or a steak or something. But if you're on a low budget, you know these eggs. If you see it on the camera, the eggs are actually quite delicious. Mmm. Mmm, pepper's almost gone. Could I eat a meal like this every day? Yeah, if I had to. Would I want to? No. Probably cook it up differently and make noodles and other stuff which you might see here. Some of the same ingredients, but just put together differently. You could even just chop everything up, throw in some soy sauce, and you got fried rice. Mmm. Last of my pepper. Oh god. Oh, little piece. It's final pepper. It's spicy. I'm gonna try to find my um packet of Thai chili peppers that I bought the other day. And you'll really see me sweat. Assuming they're as hot as I think they are. Mmm. Here we actually have a, a piece of bell pepper. That yellow that you see on there is bell pepper. Mmm. So I have some left. I know it looks like a lot on here, but it's actually not. It's only about four or five bites, maybe. Especially if I take big bites. <laughs> mm. I am the only one left here at this part. The sun's almost set. They can come by here shortly and, and lock the gate. So I've got to wrap up and get out of here. That's all we got left. So good.
couple bites. Almost done. I don't know about you guys. But typically when I eat, regardless of the dish, I tend to like clean it completely. <laughs> like here you can see, there's like nothing left. But typically even that little piece that I'll eat. Typically when I eat, I do clean everything. I think, um, I don't think my mom or anybody told me to do that as a kid. I just do it because I think I hate the idea of wasting food, you know. Which sometimes as a van dweller, I get a little bit sad that I do throw away a lot of food. I don't have storage, you know, I can't, I can't keep it for more than a, a day and then it'll go bad, so. If I have too much food, especially like stuff like the rotisserie chicken sometimes that I buy, I can't eat it all. And I have to throw it away and then I feel really sad. Some of you wonder what I do to clean stuff. This is it basically. I, I take a um, I take a paper towel, wipe it off. Pretty much done. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of water on it with the paper towel. See the water on there? And then I'll, I'll wipe that all off. And it's like pretty much clean. You know. um, occasionally, I might use some dishwasher soap if it's like really greasy. But I don't really use a lot of water. But I do use a lot of paper towel, so it's kind of wasteful. But I buy I buy these rolls of 50 cent um, roll from Walmart of the paper towels, and that's what I use. So you can see this is clean. And I do the same with like this a spoon. I actually, you know, I I use water on here. I don't know if you can see me put water on here, but. I normally don't use water that I'm drinking like this. I use um, bottled water like this. I have my little squirt bottle, but I don't have it with me right now. But I'll use that. And this gets wiped down and it's done, you know. So then I just put it into my little, some of you thought I had this little Pringle thingy. But it's, it's actually full of knives and forks and other things like that. And that's kind of how I clean things, including, you know, the, the pan. I will actually wipe it down. Once again, I can squirt it with water. But I do have um, vegetables here, which a little bit left, which I think I'm going to save. I might try to force myself to eat it. I may save it for tonight or tomorrow for lunch or something. But um, basically, I, I do want to, I do have to, you can't just leave it in the pot and put it in a refrigerator or something. you got to remove it. So... I'm going to get some um, plastic bags and put that in and save that for tonight or tomorrow for lunch. And then what I'll do is wipe this down again with the, the paper towel. Then uh, possibly some water, you know, and see like this to me, once I get this kind of clean, it's pretty much done, you know, it's like, I may even spray it with, if, if I really feel like it needs it. But this is just water that's on here. It's um, steamed, you know, from the vegetables. I have a little bit of oil on it, but that's okay. You know, the oil just makes it slick. But um, it's done. And for the rice cooker, I'll do the same. Looks like uh, County might be here to shut things down. You know, it's just another person in a SUV. I thought it was a County vehicle. Now, I am going to go ahead and sign out. I want to thank you for joining me for this McBang, McBung, McBung, whatever it is. <laughs> uh, and I'm also going to fill some water up. You know, I take advantage of when I have a sink here, like I do, I have a, a water fountain. I don't know if you saw the little fountain there, but that's where I get my water from for stuff like this. It saves me about a dollar, you know, instead of refilling this. So, I'm going to start to clean up because they're going to shut down soon and uh, fill my water. And if I have some time, I'll boil the eggs. Uh, not all of them, but a couple, uh, per your suggestions. Although I really don't like boiled eggs, believe it or not. 
What I can think of a dish that I can make with the boiled eggs is to show you what can be done with them, to use them like a meat substitute. Um, so thank you for joining me. I hope you're staying well, eating well, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until next time, everyone, take care, good eating, and um, stay safe. Bye-bye now.